Good afternoon. The school year is almost over, but a rally today by parents here in the Carl Place School District demanding that they have a say over whether or not their kids still have to wear masks indoors. As you may remember, it's a very contentious issue. And just two weeks ago, the governor said that he consulted with the CDC and was allowing kids to go maskless outside, but they still have to wear masks indoors. And as the temperature rises and these last few days of the school year are waning, parents are appealing to the governor to reconsider. You could go to a comedy club, you could go to a theme park, yet our kids are struggling in these schools with masks on six feet apart. They're not being infected with the COVID virus. They're not spreading it. Yet they're sweating in school with masks on and can't breathe, are getting nosebleeds, are throwing up, constantly going to the nurse's office, and they're still having to come here every day with a mask. Is, is that your kids are having a hard time with it? Like yeah, my kids are having a really hard time. I have one child with severe allergies that comes home crying every day that he can't breathe all day. So he's crying to go to school in the morning. And we're just trying to figure out why. Why are our kids still in school wearing a mask? We want answers. Parents point to so many places that kids could now go. Anyone can go maskless, sporting events inside restaurants, stores, etc. But doctors tell us that children, of course, are not getting vaccinated under 12 and can still transmit the virus. The governor's office stands by the, his directive of two weeks ago and says they are still not comfortable uh, lifting the mandate indoors. This very contentious issue, though, continues into the final days of the school year. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 5 p.m. For now, I'm Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.